a stolen trailer, and what I'm doing about it, right now on Camp Outside. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well, I was coming home from work like I always do, came in up the driveway, turned to around the house where I had my trailer parked, and my trailer was gone. It was just gone. The lock was cut, laying on the ground, couldn't believe it. I thought maybe one of my friends really needed my trailer, so I got on the phone and called a couple buddies and said, hey, did you come get my trailer? Did you need my trailer for something? Of course, all of them said no. And I knew then that my trailer was stolen. Luckily, it wasn't the cargo camper or the trailer for pontoon fish, my pontoon boat. It was my equipment trailer, my flat deck equipment trailer. I had a nice 20 foot deck equipment trailer. And this story was from 20 years ago. So it was right around 2004, so 19 years ago. But that drastically changed the way I think about trailer storage. So I wanna show you what I'm doing with the cargo camper so you can see how I'm storing that, how, how I'm keeping that safe. Let's go check it out. So the first thing I do for security is I keep my trailers inside. I have a 30 by 60 metal building. Luckily with that, I'm able to park both my cargo camper and pontoon fish in my metal building where they are totally protected. I have two roll up doors. I'm actually able to pull the Kemp bus in right here. So uh, I'm able to keep everything inside a building. And I know that that's not uh, possible for everybody, but it was something that was very, very important to me. Uh, when I tore down my old barn, which was just getting really in poor condition, I decided to build something that I could put my trailers inside. I wanted to keep my trailers protected from the harmful uh, UV rays of the sun, especially my boat, uh, but I definitely wanted to be able to put my stuff inside. If it's inside, people can't see it. They especially can't see it from the road. They don't even know it's here, so there's nothing to steal. But if you can't put your trailers inside, and I totally get that you can't, if there's a place on your property or where you park your equipment that is off the road, not visible from the road, is very, very important. If you can do that, then that will help protect you. In the case of my trailer, even though it was parked around the side of my house, I have a lane that goes down the side of my property to some properties behind me. And so my trailer was very easily seen from that lane. And so I think somebody was driving down that lane, scoped out my trailer, and decided to steal it in broad daylight while both my wife and I were at work. Guys, as I said before, I can't tell you how much that affected me. I was really worried that uh, someone would just brazenly come on my property in the middle of, of the day, cut my lock and steal something. I'm like, what if my wife was home and I wasn't home uh, or you know, or that kind of thing? This was before we had our kids, but uh, that seriously affected me. So. I knew from then on that I needed to do some things to protect my property. And so one of the things that I really, really believe in is a good quality hitch lock. Now, if you wanna check out how bad hitch locks are, go to the, to the YouTube channel of The Lock Picking Lawyer. I don't know if you guys have ever checked him out, but he basically picks all kinds of locks, padlocks. I swear, I'm sure Master Lock probably has a hit out on this guy or something because he just obliterates their locks all the time. But all of the major uh, hitch locks that you see from Master, from Kurt, from you know a whole bunch of different brands uh, are basically just junk. Uh, they're either easily picked or easily broken or both. Uh, most of them are just absolute crap. And so if you're gonna store your trailer outside or if you wanna be able to secure your trailer while you're out camping or uh, if you have it parked somewhere, you definitely need a quality hitch lock. Let me show you what I got. So guys, check this out. This is a hitch lock. Super strong. This is a proven locks. 2178D. 
It's designed to fit the Demco coupler. So I have a Demco coupler on my trailer. I'll show you that in a minute. But guys, look at how thick this thing is. And what's awesome about this, it's a three piece system. So you have the puck lock. The puck lock has a, like a barrel key, I guess. I, I'm not a lock locksmith guy, so I don't really know all the technical terms. But basically you stick that up underneath it. Let's see if I can get it on the camera here. So basically you stick key in and then when you open it you got to turn that i got to turn it this way so it doesn't fall out on me you pull that cylinder down right that'll remove the puck lock there's the basically the part that the puck lock goes on and then you just slide this off and then this part is up under the ball of the trailer and i'm going to go ahead and put it on so you can see it but you can also store your safety chains under here so that they can't just wrap their wrap your safety chains around their hitch and make off with your trailer without taking your hitch lock off guys this thing is so thick you're not cutting it uh there's no way to get to the the the, the puck lock when it's when it's in this housing let's go put it on the trailer and show you how it looks Okay guys, so as you can see, I have my Dempco coupler here. And with this Dem Demplo coupler, it's really nice because it's a very easy latch uh, system. So I really like that. Uh, when I had Evan do the, the, the uh, tongue work on the trailer, and I'll put a link to that up in the upper right-hand corner, guys, where you can see our tongue lengthening project. I had him put a two inch ball on because my boat trailer is a two inch ball. And so I didn't, need a two and five sixteenths to have to switch out balls all the time so basically this comes up underneath right and then you can just latch that down right and it'll hang there now notice the gap here right there's a lot of there's a big gap there that's so that you can put your safety chains in i'm not going to do it for this time but you can see that then here goes the top half which goes right right over like that there we go. And you can see the cutout for the Demco coupler, right? So it's very important. If you have a Demco coupler, you need the 2178D. D, I'm guessing, stands for Demco. Okay, so once you have that on there, it's very easy to just put the puck lock on, push the cylinder up, turn the key, and it's locked, guys. That is not coming off and there's no way to get at anything there's no way to cut it i guess if you had like a like a plasma cutter uh, or something like that you could but you're not going to grind this off this is seriously thick thick steel okay guys i'm going to do this again but this time i'm going to do the safety chains so what we want to do is we want to run the safety chains opposite so if one hook goes on this way let me get that clasped there we go if one hook goes on that way the other hook is going to go opposite right that's just so it has room let me get this and i don't have the best hooks for for this but okay so you see my hooks are opposite and what you can do is you can twist this up so that you don't have as much uh stuff so I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just go ahead and twist it a couple times. All right, and the idea is that you're not giving them a lot of chain to work with. Okay, so like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this up underneath. Drop the... Okay, so it's on. I'm gonna take this part, slide it over. Just like that. Take the puck lock, run the puck lock up, pull the key. 
can. There we go. There we go. That is not coming off. And if you can see, there is no slack. The, the chains up under there have really cinched that up so that it is not moving at all. Okay, so uh, really, really like this because there's, again, no way to get around it. You're not going to be able to use this ball of chain here to wrap it around a hitch to steal the trailer. Everything is secure. So as you can see, guys, there is a lot to like about a proven locks, hitch lock for your trailer. And they make all types, guys, and for all different size balls. So they make them for boat trailers. They make them for campers, utility trailers, all kinds of things. They have locks for fifth wheels. They have locks for everything, guys. So I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, Proven Industries. And as of the making of this video, I'm not an affiliate for Proven. Uh, I would love to be, so I will probably apply. And uh, so in, in the future, if you're checking out this video, if you click on the link below to get the lock, that might be an affiliate link. It's not yet, but it might be eventually. Any of the links on my site, guys, that are uh, affiliate links are where I get a little commission on the sale. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's a great way to support Camp Outside. But guys, I like Proven Industries so much that uh, I'm definitely going to put a link to their to their website, whether or not I'm an affiliate. So a couple of things that I think are a little bit challenging. So the way the lock sits, right, when the lock is in the puck, it's sitting this way. So the key is facing the ground and it's down low. And depending on what you're parked over, you could be parked over dirt or gravel or it could be raining. And so the ground is wet. It is very hard to get a barrel key in the lock when you can't see it. It's hard to line it up. So uh, a great uh, example is, so if I have the lock, right, and it's like this, and I'm trying to get this key in and I can't see it, I'm fumbling around to feel it, right? I'm like, oh, nope, that's not it. Maybe, nope, right? And so you almost have to be able to see it so that you can see that little indent right or that that place for the key to go in so that you can turn it and open it right that is compared to a lock with a standard key like my trimax puck lock now if you watch the lock picking lawyer you can see just how fast you can get into these so uh i'm going to upgrade these pretty soon so just keep that in mind but what i like is I like the straight key because I know the orientation of the key. So I know how to get it in every single time without looking at it. So if I'm straight on, I know my key goes like this, right? So much easier to open, right? I think either one would be difficult to pick because you've got to, you know, kind of, you got to be under the trailer. So my wife says a pro tip, if you don't want your trailer stolen, always park your trailer tongue over a fire ant pile. That way the person has to lay in the fire ant pile to pick your lock. I think it's genius, although I don't wanna to have to deal with fire ants when I'm just trying to hook up my trailer, so I don't do that. But I think what I'm going to do is ultimately, I'm gonna swap out that puck lock for a puck lock that has a standard key. Like I said, I'm gonna get a much better lock than uh, the Trimax. Uh, but I just wanted to use this one for an illustration because I just don't like fumbling with the, with the barrel key other than that i think it's a fantastic lock it's made out of aluminum so it is much lighter than that trimax lock which is steel so it's a much lighter lock but uh seems to be uh pretty well made and i definitely think you could go with it i'll probably hang on to this lock for for something else but i just hate fumbling with that barrel key which is actually this one i hate fumbling with that barrel key because i can't see it so it's it's, it takes me a while to get my lock off the trailer. So, and, and guys, I am not a metal expert. You can go to Proven, uh, Proven Industries website and check out uh, the specs on these, but I mean, really, really thick metal. This is heavy, guys. So um, you can park your camper, go off for the day, go exploring, and know that if this is on the hitch, that your camper is gonna be there uh, when you get back. Now. 
I am sure that someone who's really, really determined, who either knows how to drill out locks or something like that, could get this thing off. But I think in general, anybody who's out there looking to steal a trailer is gonna see this and say, nope, I'm gonna go pick an easier target. I'm gonna go find someone with one of those really crappy uh, master locks or something like that, that I can just pick or break in, in a couple of seconds. So all in all guys, again, proven industries or proven locks, highly, highly recommend their uh, hitch locks. And guys, if you have the Demco coupler, look for the one with the D. This is the 2178D and I highly recommend it. So guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside. We exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature and develop a conservation ethic. We wanna help you get you and your kids outside. And one of the ways to help with that is to make sure that your gear is secure when it's not in use. And guys, if you've ever had a trailer stolen, I can tell you it feels like a violation. You know, it's these, uh, you know, trailers are not inexpensive. It's, it's definitely an investment. And when someone comes and just takes what's yours, it, it, it stings, it makes you think. And so, yeah, there's a lot of locks out there, a lot of hitch locks that are a whole lot cheaper than this one, guys. But what's your trailer worth to you? And what's your time worth? Do you wanna fill out that insurance claim, you know? For, for a couple hundred dollars, you can have really, really solid peace of mind. And that is why I have this lock. And guys, this is the first one uh, that, I've, that I've received from, from Proven. And, and guys, I paid for this with my own money. They didn't send it to me. This is, this is my uh, you know, totally honest review. Like I said, the thing I don't like is, is, is the key, the barrel key. But I'm gonna get one for pontoon fish because uh, sometimes when we're off camping, we'll leave for the day and we'll have the trailer parked at the campsite. And I just have a standard hitch lock on there, guys. And so uh, I really am a believer in Proven's, Proven's products. So uh, I'll be having a, a few more of these uh, for all my trailers uh, eventually. So if you have any questions at all about hitch locks or trailers or getting outside, drop some in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Or you can hit us up on other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. And as I said before, I will have a link down in the description below where you can pick up your own proven lock for your trailer. And guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.